What's going on guys? My name is Alex, also known as Mad Wiener Liquor 503 and today I have another ACR Moab for you all to enjoy on the map Carbon. I'm using this almighty powerful gun with the classic setup which is silencer and extended mags. My MP9 is silenced, then my first three perks are scavenger, hardline, and stalker, and then I unlock sleight of hand, assassin, and marksman. So I'm, first of all, I'm not going to talk about how to play this map because I'm going to reference you to my very first Moab video on YouTube. Yes, it is a P90 Moab on Carbon, and I explained throughout that whole video how to get a Moab on this map. But very basically, you want to leave the enemy at C, and on the left-hand side here, which is where I am right now, stay on this side, back and forth, back and forth. This is what I call the covered side, and the most, you know, and the safest side. But, anyway, I'm also going to talk about a little bit on the new channel that I'm, well, not really new, but I'm directing a channel called 8-Digit Gaming, founded by Jess, also the founder of 8-Digit Studios, and I'm doing a whole new series there, which is how to mo called How to Moab, and last week I posted Seatown, uh, how to get Moab on Seatown, and in this series, I'm going to break down every map on how, what my opening routes are, also the spawning system, as well as how to keep the enemy contained in that spawning system, so, and... Uh, if you follow those steps and some helpful little tips, it should be a lot easier to get a Moab that way. So it's not like I'm saying, if you do all of these things, you will be guaranteed a Moab. No, it just hopefully helps you guys in your gameplay. So anyway, uh, Dome will be coming next, which is tomorrow on that channel. So if you are interested, please check it out. It, those videos take so much work. So it would be awesome for me, you guys. And plus, we're hope. Uh, I, j I was informed by Jess that we're doing a huge contest or something on that channel and when he told me the prize guys oh my god like I want to participate so bad but <laughs> I mean if you have an iPod and an iPad you will love this contest because he's giving away a hundred dollars to the iTunes store or app store and that is insane oh my god so if you are interested, guys, uh, I don't know what the rules are. I'm guessing you'll have to be subscribed to it. Jess is going to put out an information video, I think. So uh, keep an eye out for that if you are interested in winning $100 to iTunes. So I did not know he was going to do that, but that's insane. Anyway, I've talked too much about that. So let's talk about uh, the topic, which is portable radars. Now, portable radars are on every single one of my classes, except some, you know, my random class. Uh, that's what's called <laughs> in my custom class slot. I I change it up, of course, but I have portable radars in all my main classes, and it, it's the most useful equipment because obviously you get an extra UAV in that one space where you put it. But also, guys, if you use portable radars, it's not a hundred percent reliable. Meaning, of course, the assassin perk because the enemies, you know, obviously won't be seen when they're using assassin or when they have specialists so you you know can't really really rely on it It just gives you a little extra help and that's why I want to talk about because people want tips on how to get moabs and portable radars are a huge thing because when you're patrolling is what I call it an area uh, for example on sea town like I did on the map breakdown map if you put a portable radar in one of those hot spawns you are golden you will know when the enemy spawns in that hot spawn point so Unless, of course, they're assassin, but usually it's actually kind of rare, but not every single one of their, uh, well, any single one of the enemies will have assassin. It's rare, like last night, man, I ran into a whole lobby. Every single one of them was assassin. So, all, and I was using UAV, counter UAV, I think, and plus portable radar in my random class. I was leveling up the MG36, which is a Moab I'm trying to get right now, the LMG, so I got one LMG Moab, and that's coming out next week, I believe, guys, so keep an eye out for that, but yeah, they were all assassin, and I couldn't rely on my portable radar whatsoever, and I was like, that was the one rare time when I wish I had stun grenades or flash grenades or something more useful, but, you know, it's a gamble, but usually it works, so I definitely recommend using a portable radar, it will help your gameplay tremendously, guys, it will, and uh, yeah, that's my one tip, and yeah, I mean, you can, I would even use a prestige token if you're still prestiging, uh, prestiging, oh, yeah, <laughs> prestiging, anyway, to unlock it, so I think it's a very valuable piece of equipment. Anyway, here is my Moab on this map, I was playing with money stacks and some other people, but this is a double bro, uh, double bro, bro lab, whatever, it's a bro lab, because he gets one a few seconds later, but, 
Anyway, the story on why I said in my intro, Mad Wiener Liquor. <laughs> Five other is because uh, my friend and teammate, RT Drummer, also known as Robert, he won the bet that I had with him. I, I kind of forget about it. It happened a little while ago, but anyway, uh, I lost, of course. So in this video, I have to say Mad Wiener Liquor 503 in my YouTube intro. So that was quite embarrassing. So if you're watching this drummer, uh, yeah. You're a douche. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you give the portable radar a try. It's very, very useful. Keep an eye out for that contest on 8-Digit Gaming as well as my How to Moab series, which is awesome and I love it. So anyway, um, that will be coming out tomorrow on the Dome video. So yeah, take care, guys. Peace.